Hey guys, it's Jasmine. So I'm here to do my April monthly favorites and I don't really do um, favorite videos every month. Just when I have products that I really, 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 really want to share. Um, so yeah, and I probably will have a favorite next month as well for um, May because I have got so many new products over the last month or so. Or a few weeks, I don't know. So yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it and start with my favorites. And I hope I'm in focus. Do y'all like boba tea? I love these little tapioca balls in here. So good. Mmm. Oh, and by the way, I think I finally got my lighting right, hopefully. I think I do, though. Though. I really, really think I do. Okay, so into the favorites. I'm going to start with this Fit Tea African Mango Complex Fat Burner. And this is a supplement. Um, it says it increases metabolism, boosts energy, powerful anti antioxidant protection, and you get 60 capsules and it's like a dietary supplement and it says fat burner but I'm not honestly not really using this for um to lose weight I just really love fit tea if you guys um have seen some of my videos talking about fit tea I really enjoy fit tea and I actually still drink it now um yeah I just love it so I think this is like a great product as well like I just love fit tea and their products and this is sometimes when I don't feel like making a tea I'll just take two of these and you're, you're supposed to take two of these before lunch or dinner um, 30 minutes prior to your um, lunch or dinner. So it's just like a pill like this and it's a capsule and it has like a powdery substance in it. <clears throat> so yeah, I just take two mostly but um, mostly before my lunch because dinner I don't, I don't know. But I take it 30 minutes before my lunch most times and I think it's just quicker than the tea. And this really does suppress my appetite. Like after I um eat, I mean after I eat lunch, well actually before I eat lunch, it's like I'm not really that hungry. So it makes me eat less. So that's a great thing. And it also does give me a boost of energy. So that's why I like to take it before lunch. So then I can have that little boost of energy um, midway through the day kind of sort of. So I don't have like those little tired spurts during the day so I think it's great to take it um before lunch and not really before dinner because then if you go to sleep shortly after um you have this energy and yeah and it doesn't give me like jitters or anything like that which is great it's all natural so it doesn't give me any jitter jitters I haven't really been using this for that long yet but um <clears throat> If this does help me lose weight, then I will make an um, updated video for you guys. So I'm just going to read off some of the benefits really quick. It says 100% natural, induces fat loss and controls weight, regulates blood pressure, natural antioxidants, slows down the aging process, reduces the risk of cancer, um, good source of iodine and iron, has anti-aging effects, um, makes a positive and healthy difference in your life. Do, 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 do. increases your energy levels which I do agree with that um, <clears throat> transcends your unhealthy eating habits which I um, agree with that as well like I said I don't get many cravings and it does suppress my appetite which I really love um, and it also says it boosts metabolism and contains it says boosts metabolism and controls weight gain, reduces fluid retention, and yeah. So it's just like a lot of great benefits to this. So if you like Fit Tea, I will highly suggest you try this out. Um, I will have a link in the description bar as to where you can purchase this. Um, if you're a Fit Tea lover, you will love these supplements. And it's just quicker and easier than the pill. I mean than the tea. So next, since I only have really one skincare item, it's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And this is for the combination oily skin. And I really, really, really love this stuff because it really keeps me like, like, you know, sometimes a lot of people with oily skin, they don't like to really put moisturizer on their face. But you actually really need to put moisturizer on your face even if you... Um, are, I mean if you do have oily skin because when you don't put um, a moisturizer on your face your skin is like oh my god where's the moisture and it's just um, 
creating more oils which makes you even more oily so this is a great moisturizer for um, us girls or guys who have super oily skin um it doesn't it actually kind of like mattifies my face i feel like but then it also gives me that nice moisture that i need um and it doesn't like make my face any more oilier than when it already is after i've cleansed my face so i really have been enjoying this product so the next product is the mac mineralized charge water um skin hydrating mist and i absolutely have been loving this um i've used about this much so far well you guys probably can't tell but yeah um a lot of people think this has like glitter in it but it's actually the bottle that has sparkles so yeah just to let you guys know there's no actual like glitter in here and I just love this spray. I use it most of the time to wet my beauty blender when I'm blending out my concealer. Um, as well as to just spray it all over my face to get rid, of, get rid of any like powdery finish that I might have. So yeah, I've actually been really loving this. A lot of people have been comparing this to the MAC Mineral. I mean, bleh. a lot of people have been comparing this to the Smashbox Primer Water because they have the exact same ingredients but a lot of people say they like the Smashbox Primer Water better but I'm I will not be finding out because I am, I'm not can I talk today so I will not be finding out if the Smashbox Primer Water is better because I will not be spending 30 something dollars when this is 20 something and it works perfectly fine but I do have to say I haven't used this as a primer alone so I don't really know how long it will um how, how long it'll make your makeup wear with this just alone so yeah I'm not I'm not sure on that um aspect but just as a finishing spray and just it has many purposes guys I love this stuff so the next thing I have is my beauty blender pro and this is the black one well the pro one is the black one so yeah it is well right now because I did use it when I did my makeup um I've been freaking loving this beauty blender um I have held off for a long time with getting beauty blenders because I'm like I can get the real technique sponge for $5.99 but really this actually does work a lot better than the real technique sponge um i don't really even know how to explain it but i just think you, everybody should just try to invest in at least one beauty blender just to um see if you like it and to see the difference um but then again some people may like um the real technique real techniques one better um i guess it's all about preference but i'm telling you guys a lot of people who say they love the Real Technique sponge and then they try to beauty blend it. They say this is so much better and I do have to agree. Um, so the next thing is the NARS blushes. I've been freaking loving the NARS blushes lately. Um, I think NARS is probably like my favorite blush brand at the moment. At least high end because you guys know I love the Milani baked blushes. But NARS blushes have been like on the tip top of my list lately for using. I absolutely love these. Um, I have Teos. Abertross, which is like a highlighter, um, Seduction, and Torrid. Today I'm wearing Seduction, and I absolutely love these blushes, guys. They're so pretty and so pigmented. This is Seduction, and it's just like a gorgeous, like, their formula, and it's very pigmented. It goes on the skin very easily and nice. Um, like, some products you have to, like, keep working up the color, but the NARS ones, they work pretty freaking stinking good. So this is Seduction. I'm just going to swatch one. And these are $30, so they're a bit on the pricey side, but I think they're totally worth the price. So the next thing I have been loving this month is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting, Sculpting Duo, and this is in the number two. Guys, this is just life, okay? And you know I have it for the highlighting shade because really the bronzer doesn't do anything for me. But this has been like really talked about, and it's just like the truth. When it comes to a highlighter, like Makeup Forever just needs to go ahead and make this a whole pan instead of this bronzer being in here. This is it right here. It's just this beautiful gold color. It's just gorgeous and it's very pigmented and I just absolutely love it. Like seriously guys, when I run out of this and this is still available, I will buy another one of these just for the highlighting shade. I think, I think it's, it's like 30 something dollars but it's just worth it because this highlighter is gorgeous and it is also people say it's um dupes for like Estee Lauder Heat Wave and then um some other MAC highlighter that is no longer available so yeah get your hands on this if you can they also have another one which is number one and the highlighter shade is a little bit more of a pinky tone whereas this is like a golden gold tone but it's just absolutely beautiful, guys. Like, I will highly recommend you get this. If you don't get anything else in this favorites video, 
get this seriously so the next thing I have been loving lately this month is my Anastasia um, custom concert kit and this is the one that I created for myself um, on the actual Anastasia Beverly Hills website and basically the two colors that I have been loving lately is this um, middle color right here which is mellow yellow which I used to set my under eye highlight and I did use that today and then this color oops, and then this color right here which is the color Carup and I use this to contour of course and I've just absolutely been loving these lately um I kind of stopped using these for a second and I'm not really sure why but now that I have um found this again um in my collection I've just been actually loving this both of these colors these are pretty much the only two I use but I think I'm gonna try to use the other colors um just to switch it up but yeah I absolutely love this um, and the next product I have been loving is um, the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the color Lolita and I had this color previously but I ended up taking it back and I don't know what made me take it back like why I ever thought to take this back because this color is so beautiful I am wearing it today and I guess I just had to get used to it kind of I don't know but sometimes I'm not a fan of just matte complete flat matte lips so yeah but this color is gorgeous. I'm so happy I finally got my hands on it again because it has been sold out for like years, I feel like, in store and online. And then when it does go in stock online, it goes out so quick. But the last time, like around the sale for the VIB Rouge, it was in stock online for a while. I think it is out of stock now. I'm not quite sure. But here's the color right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. So yeah, love this. I definitely, this is a great color for so many different skin tones. Um, I think pretty much every skin tone can pull this color off. So the next thing I have is this Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer. And this is in the Smoothing Primer number 1, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say it on the bottle. But yeah, this is the Smoothing Primer. And I have absolutely been loving this as well. A lot of people compare this to the Professional by benefit but i think it's kind of similar it definitely looks like the same in color um but i definitely like this better than professional because i'm not really a huge fan of professional i don't know if you guys can see that you probably can't but it is super smoothing and pore filling so i have really been enjoying this and it also does keep my oils at bay so yeah loving this so the next thing I have to show you guys is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. That's a mouthful. Um, but yeah, I have definitely been loving this for the month of April. Well, since I got it. Like, I really do really, really, really love this concealer. I have the color Medium Dark Neutral. And this may be a tad too light for my under eyes, but I make it work. I am wearing that under my eyes today. Um... So yeah, I may get a little of shade up in this concealer, but this is the color right here. It's very pigmented, and it's not like heavy on the skin at all. Like I can't really tell, well I can't tell that I'm wearing like a concealer under my eyes. It's very weightless, but has great coverage. So the name is like exactly what they, like they definitely created the perfect name for it because it's the truth. So yeah, I've been loving this, loving it. Um, the next thing is also another concealer, and this is the Maybelline Master Conceal um, Concealer, and I have the color 50 Medium Deep, and I've actually been really loving this concealer as well. It's a great drugstore, um, great drugstore concealer. I think Maybelline does great with all of their concealers because I absolutely love the um, Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline, and then now I'm actually I'm absolutely loving this one as well, and this really reminds me of um. MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. Actually, both of these do. So this is, um, the one at the top is the Maybelline Master Conceal. And it's just, like, the perfect, like, it just has great coverage. And also, it's not too heavy as well. And as soon as you, like, blend this out, you need to work very quickly because this does set very quick. So another favorite I have for you guys is this NARS Audacious Lipstick. And this is in the color Anna. First of all, I just love the packaging of these lipsticks. And I just love them. This is the color Anna. And I'm pretty sure you guys know that I love this because I have used this in many of my makeup tutorials. And this color is like a mauve pink tone and it's just gorgeous like this is my favorite lipstick of all times i feel like 
like when I run out of this I will be purchasing it again even though these lipsticks are pretty pricey but I just have to have it it's just a gorgeous color and then like the formula of the lipsticks I absolutely adore like they're not too matte but then they're also not too shiny and then they also last a very long time on the lip so yeah loving this always will probably be a favorite of mine so last but definitely not least is this versace yellow diamond perfume and i absolutely love this i am a huge perfume junkie this is a smaller bottle i was gifted this um for christmas by my cousin um we had like a wish list and this was on my wish list and she got this for me like definitely if you get this all you need is the small bottle because this a little bit goes such a long way I think this is the perfect scent it's like girly and sexy as well and it's just like an amazing perfume and a little bit goes a long way like um I'm telling you guys this stuff lasts a long time it has a very long long wear I think this perfume is the most long wearing that I actually have I have the big bottle of the Versace bright crystal that is the pink one and that this one right here lasts so much longer than the bright crystal it's crazy like I can spray this on like in a, in the like say I sprayed this on this morning the next morning like tomorrow morning if I smell my shirt or clothes like this the smell will still be on like that's how long it lasts and I absolutely love that about this and I just love the smell so get you some of this like seriously this is bomb Bum, bum, so yeah bum. guys that's basically all for my this video that was all of my favorites for the month of april pretty much um i do have some more stuff that i've been trying out but i didn't want to put it in my favorites just yet because i'm still trying it out but i have been also loving a lot of other stuff but i've just recently got them so i wanted to wait a while to show you guys so i can actually know for sure that it's my favorite um so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what were your April favorites down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Please give this video a thumbs up. It just helps me so much um, with promotion and also letting me know that you guys are liking the content. And also please subscribe if you have not already. And tell your mama, your daddy, your sister, and whoever else to subscribe as well. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.